the truth is, and I'm saying it here now, is that Derek Jackson was involved with other women. Like coaching, like you got to sit up and you got to like oh, lean. Yeah, well, no, you got to yeah, lean, for, you gotta lean forward and, you know, like smile. You don't want to wear white on the camera. I wouldn't have, I would have killed myself had this happened in like three, four years ago. I've, I watched their videos of them having sex. So I would try to imitate that and recreate that in our relationships. I became a shell of myself. I didn't know who I was. I actually have a couple posts on my page where I was like, I have a post that says, I knew her body better than I knew my own. <sighs> several, several women. I know several, I knew several other women's bodies better than I knew my own. And um, I spent a lot of time, like I was, I, I went in such a, a deep hole where I was like studying these women. I would go to their profiles and I would study their pages and like what they wear. I knew when they were meet, when they had met up. So I've, I watched their videos of them having sex. So I would try to imitate that and recreate that in our relationships so that he could choose me. And what me? As a woman who has been cheated on before, I could not imagine watching videos of somebody I was in a relationship with, my husband, them having sex with other women, wanting to imitate them. Like your mindset has to be in a very unhealthy place to do that to yourself. Like, I couldn't handle that. The trauma she's been through is a different type of trauma. If you guys haven't seen part one, go watch it. But this is part two. This is more about the video. I definitely shortened the clips. You know, go watch the full podcast. Her story is very interesting. It's very powerful. This woman has been through a lot. I commend her on sharing her story. It's very personal stuff that she has been through. Even down to our daughter, like, I had a... I had some issues like just like with the complexion of our daughter because that was the type of woman that he would go after and I'm not dark like super dark skin woman and our daughter's like a little chocolate little princess she has it you know and I'm just like how does she look like the women that he wants they had her even though I carried her that's what I felt like for a long time I had to really sit down and because she she her skin tone represents the type of women that he would cheat on you with yes even taking her story out the picture, there's a lot of women who were secretly jealous of their daughters. Especially when their daughter starts to reach a certain age, you know, and they start to see her more as their competition. Yes, that is a real thing between mothers and daughters. Specifically in her case, the negative feeling that was brought up on her was obviously related to the situation of her being cheated on by her husband. It is very sad to hear this. Obviously, her husband dealing with so many women and her constantly being obsessed with learning these women and how they looked and how they wore their hair. The images of those women were imprinted in her mind constantly. So, of course, if her daughter favored those women, as in, you know, the complexion, because she was in an unhealthy place mentally, she related those two together and i commend her on being so honest and not being afraid of the backlash you sat down you recorded that video yes. you didn't prep you didn't you had what was that some people say it's a bonnet some people you said it's a beret which one was it, it was a beret it's actually a hat okay. um i had on a hat um I was that was the day I was having like morning sickness. I was just like exhausted and it's like we have to get this done though. Like there was an urgency in like, okay, we have to get this this done. We have to get ahead of this. He bought this little um media kit person or I don't even know what you call it, but it's a person that helps well, you content creator. prepare for these types of things and it's like coaching, like you gotta sit up and you gotta like oh, lean. Yeah, well, no, you gotta, lean, media for training you gotta person. lean forward and you know, like smile. You don't wanna wear white on the camera. And you know, I'm like, what? You know, y'all know this is my first time sitting in front of anybody's camera. Like I haven't even spoken on camera. I, I'm not an actor. When this video came out, there were a lot of content creators making fun of her in the video. It, it, it hit me anyway. So, you know what I'm saying? You, you're straight. You're a little wrinkled, but that, that's normal. I like your bonnet. Matter of fact, all, all of them, all the room is true. Yeah, I, I, I pretty much stepped out on my marriage. Been out here knocking ankles loose, throttling anything that's moving. I don't think we ever even wanted to have a marriage like this. You know, we took vows 
and ultimately I defiled them in every way possible. There was a lot of negativity surrounded by this video and she was being made fun of a lot. If you watch the full podcast, the full interview, she says she is pregnant at the time. She also said that they just came back from a funeral from, I think it was one of his family members just passed away and she's never been on camera before. This is the first time she's been in front of the camera. So when you put all that together, all the feelings she was probably going through was a lot. So it's kind of sad seeing her tell her story now because so many people made fun of her. Just making it a whole comedy sketch, basically. And this woman is going through a lot of hurtful pain in this moment. So, you know, I'm not an actor. I, I can't do that. And so that just caused a little bit of, I'm like, I can't. I can't do that. Like, I'm a, I'm doing good just sitting here. <laughs> you know, seriously. Like, that's all I got for you. And I'm whole pregnant. I don't even know what to and do. That's one of the reasons why um, I never really wanted to be at the forefront. Um, it wasn't just, like, he, him hiding me either. I was like, I don't really want to be at the forefront because I know people are cruel. And, you know, at the time I had all these insecurities and all of these things, which were serious. We kind of touched yeah. on some of them. I wouldn't have, I would have killed myself had this happened in it like three four years ago i literally and i and i and i don't say that loosely oh i know i, I know. do not say that loosely i know like i really mean that and there was a couple of, of attempts in the past so um i wouldn't have been able to survive it and then you don't know what somebody's going through you don't know if your comic can be like their last leg where they want to take their life like you just never know what somebody's going through so Social media is very unforgiving. Being on camera in general is not an easy thing. When you watch the video, everybody can tell she was uncomfortable. Everybody could tell like it wasn't genuine. You just feel it from the way she was acting, from the way he was acting. It did not look like a loving couple that was trying to unite together and just address the backlash that was happening. Her explaining it now, I completely see it in the video. I can tell she was not used to being on camera. I can tell she wasn't in a good place, that she just wanted to get it over with. Everybody was commenting on that, that they felt like she was being held captive and she was forced to do it. And her telling her story, she basically was. It was nothing that she was excited to do or she wanted to do. She felt like she had to do it. And then after I did that, everything became like, visible to her then i found out about the girls the women then i found out about all these i'm like we're talking Lord. about the women you already knew about the women the the other there was more i didn't know about all of them you knew about 11 so i knew about more the 11. Than 11 i knew i knew about the 11 there's more <laughs> there's more than that because homegirl that had my name in her mouth was not on the list of the 11 so um i don't know if he gave me the first start in 11 or the last start in 11 <laughs> or the middle but her name wasn't on it, so. <laughs> um, when you watch part one and two of the video, she's joking a lot. She's being very sarcastic, but I can tell she's hurting. I mean, just hearing her story that still has to be with you. Like, the pain is still there. It's not something you just get over overnight. You know, you was with that man for years. You were dealing with a lot of trauma, a lot of stressful situations for years. So this being like one of the first times she's speaking out publicly, I can tell the pain is still there and she's trying to hide it, you know, trying to joke about it, smile about it, be very sarcastic, make light of the situation. You'll see like a lot of hurt people do that. A lot of hurt people, you know, laugh to keep from crying. She's trying to make light of the situation, even though her going through it, it wasn't funny at all. Nothing you know? funny about the situation that she had to go through. Um, you be okay with him saying this. Danea, this is it is what it is. I I love having sex with multiple women. I'm never going to dishonor you. I will make sure that none of this is is brought out in the open. I'm gonna have this on the side. You're gonna be provide the lifestyle that you dream of. I'm gonna honor you. I'm gonna respect you. I'm gonna take care of the kids. I'm gonna be a very present husband. But you have to allow me. I'm a man of means. You have to allow me to have sex with multiple women as I see fit. What verse, Can you agree with that? What Bible verses? We ain't gonna go by no Bible verses. The book of Derek. <laughs> no. or do you agree with this? Do you agree with this? No. No. So I'm glad he asked her this question. You know, and men will say a woman who's older, she's been through more trauma. In her case, yes, that's going to affect her. She's not going to be able to handle her man, even if he's upfront about it. 
being with other women like certain women can handle that you know depending on what type of woman that is i don't know but there's a lot of women who can't handle being in a relationship with a man knowing that he's going to have sex with other women we're not built for that if a woman is staying in that situation she might not be peaceful and if you want your woman to be your peace she has to have peace of mind also so her knowing that you're out there with other women when well, you could be spending more time with her you could be investing that time in your business you could be investing that time in your health by working out you know investing that time in your community There's so many other things you can be doing with your time besides giving it to other women and having sex with other women with the potential of those women coming out you know destroying the image of your family embarrassing you those women maybe becoming pregnant those women maybe bringing back some type of sexual disease so there's a lot of things you're adding into her life unwillingly for your own happiness which to me is very selfish but everything she's been through I pretty much know she cannot handle a man who's going to be with her and then be with other women like and then I want to know what scripture that's in <laughs> He say there's a story about <laughs> King David. He had uh, multiple wives and even more concubines. Okay, but and, was a, and, and the we, Bible called him a man after God's own heart. Did we did we read the whole thing, or are we just reading the? the We're gonna one read part of... what benefits me in this situation. Okay, well, so can you do this for me? No, <laughs> it's gonna be a hard no for me. <laughs> you told me sent the text message you saying he wanted a divorce. When was that? That was September 29th, twenty twenty two. And where were you when you get, received that text message? I, we were both at home. He was upstairs. I was downstairs on the couch. Um, I had just actually come back from, um, I did a freedom group where you basically, you know, you're going through freedom with all these people. You're talking about stuff with a group of women and stuff like that, you know, confidentiality. And we we're talking about forgiveness. And I was I was like, I'm going to go home. I'm going to say, you know, I forgive him <laughs> for anything, anything that I've been holding on to or been, has been coming out of me. I, I, and I did that. I said, I forgive you. The next words out of his mouth was, or via text, should I say, was, um, I was done with us in this marriage after I said that. And I was like, okay, Lord, you, this, uh, is what, uh, this is on. what forgiveness gives you. <laughs> you said, <laughs> I forgive you of everything. And he said, I want out of the marriage. Yes. To even make, to spice it up. Cause I like spice. Um, a couple of days before that, two day, about two days before that, we had, we were intimate. We were intimate, and then the next day, he's like, "This is leading up to the text message." The next day, he was like, um, "I don't want to be intimate with you anymore for two months. I just want you to be completely whole and healed." So it is unfortunate that they did have sex right before this happened. But again, he's a man. He probably was in the mood. It was convenient. So he did it. I really think him ending it with her. Even though in the video, she also says that she filed for divorce also. But basically, he brought it up first. But of course, her going through everything she's been through, she's, you know, she's not going to fight it too much. I'm glad they ended it because hearing her story and watch part one and two long podcast but her story is it was exhausting to watch i'm not gonna lie like it got my blood pressure high it was putting myself in her shoes like it just it was a lot to deal with just hearing her story i'm definitely somebody if you are married to somebody you should fight to the death you should fight to the end of it to work it out but hearing everything they've been through like that marriage was done. The trust was completely gone. For both of their mindsets, you know, I would say they did right by just leaving it alone. When she got married, this man was already being unfaithful to her, but she still decided to marry him. So unfortunately, she had to go through a lot, a lot of hurt and trauma to finally realize this is not gonna work out. Speaking of men who like to explore their options me personally i believe there are only certain women who can handle men who cheat or who explore their options and still be in a peaceful mindset if you want to see what i'm really talking about go ahead check out this video right here i can get up at my house now <laughs>